Good morning. My name is Kyle Dolliver. I represent myself, my family, and Ryan's Challenge, a nonprofit dedicated to awareness for vascular Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. My son Ryan was born November 2nd, 2014. Not long after his birth, my wife and I noticed small bruises appearing all over his body. We brought up this fact with his pediatrician and were told not to worry. Boys are going to get bruises. The bruising continued. The questions to the pediatrician continued. And my wife and I kept getting the same story. Ryan is a boy, boys bruise. When Ryan was one and a half years old, he fell off the couch and sustained a significant head laceration with profuse bleeding. We immediately rushed him to the closest hospital for treatment. Well, there, one of the nurses or doctors noticed the bruising along with the lacerations and immediately called Child Protective Services. This might sound odd, but I'm thankful that they did. It was the catalyst that convinced Ryan's pediatrician to get to the bottom of this. Six months and $30,000 later, not including the money the insurance companies paid out, we had a diagnosis. That diagnosis was vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Vascular EDS affects the body's ability to create a usable form of collagen-3, and the cells in his body will not accept a usable form of collagen-3. Essentially, collagen-3 is the protein or glue that holds the body together. Uh, this makes Ryan prone to such events as vascular ruptures, bowel perforations, um, bladder ruptures, basically all of my son's organs can rupture at any time with and without cause. <clears throat> Something as simple as a sneeze can end his life. Currently, vascular EDS is 100% fatal and has no treatment or cure, but my family and I consider ourselves fortunate to have a diagnosis. Over the past two years, we have met and heard stories from families that were not so fortunate. I doubt there's a person in this room that has not heard of a child uh, collapsing on a sports field and, and dying. Specialists say that 50% of these cases are from vascular EDS or a related disorder. There's a children age 10 jumped off a high dive, died on impact. A teen in my hometown town of College Station fell over dead in gym class. I spoke on the phone just yesterday with a woman. Her son was 13. He died on the football field. A man in Houston served a year in jail for child abuse before his daughter was diagnosed with vascular EDS. Knowledge is power. We can take precautions to keep Ryan safe, but there are families out there that are totally unaware they are living in danger. This is why I'm in favor of SB 748. While vascular EDS is not currently on the newborn screening list, it is my hope that vascular EDS will one day be added to the RUSP. And when that day comes, I want to know that the great state of Texas is ready and able to give the families and children the answers they deserve. Thank you. We want you to, um, we want you to know as the Senate, we uh, appreciate those very emotional testimonies. Members, are there any questions, any more questions of witnesses, of these witnesses? If there are any, anyone else would like to testify regarding Senate Bill 748? If not, that concludes public testimony of this bill, and public testimony is now closed. We will leave Bill 748 pending.